Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? You are feeling great. Well, I am feeling great too. So that's great news. And uh, I suppose that uh, we can start our lesson right away. Can we? Yes, of course we can. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you if all of you have brought your favorite gadgets. You have, that's great. And uh, also your earphones or headphones. Everyone, well, I'm not surprised at all because you are great students. You are my students. <laughs> okay then. My dear students, I will be giving you one little minute to be logging on yourselves on the school intranet and uh, yes, please, Nina, exactly on your emails and also open the Google Drive, right? Wonderful. So please start. Is everyone ready? Okay. Now, let's start with a pair of images today. And I want you to see this first image. And then this image. Now, can anyone tell us what we can see here? Yes, please, Maria. Mm -hmm. We can see a Christmas tree and an elf on the Christmas tree. Super. Now, can you please tell us what is the difference between these two images? Mm -hmm. The one is colored, exactly and the other is not. Now, can you all tell me which one do you like more? Who do you prefer and why? Yes, Panos? Yes, you would prefer the colored one mm -hmm, because it makes it more interesting, more alive. Super. And yes, yes, please, Graham. Mm -hmm you could prefer the colored too. So I can see that most of you, all of you would prefer the colored one. So please bear this characteristic in mind, okay? Now, I would like to play an MP4, a short MP4 audio, and I want you to pay your attention to this and identify the characteristic of the speaking that we will be listening to, okay? So. Hello, this is Blood Word. Please watch me for a minute. I will play it once again, okay? Hello, this is Blood Word. Please watch me for a minute. Okay. Now, who is going to tell us what we have just heard? Please, Alex. <laughs> yes, we have heard an introduction of a robot. Mm -hmm. And what is the characteristic that you identified in the way of um, his speaking? Mm -hmm. It was flat, it's speaking. Okay, uh, yes, I suppose that this was the characteristic, right? Everyone agrees to this. That's wonderful. I would say the same as well. <laughs> okay, now, I would like you to be introducing yourselves using the same words, apart from the name, of course. Okay. Uh, and you could add something, um, something more on top, but using the same pattern, introducing yourselves. Yes, Catherine, please. Mm -hmm. Hiya, I am Catherine and it's such a pleasure meeting you all. Thank you very much, Catherine. Please, uh, Dimitra. <laughs> Hi, I am Dimitra and I 
I am really happy to be meeting you all. That's wonderful. Now, thank you very much, Dimitra. <laughs> now, I would like you to be comparing the way of introducing it, uh, himself, the, uh, the way of introducing uh, the role about himself, and the way of introducing your classmates themselves. Who is going to tell us? Please, Irene. <laughs> yes, the way of the robot was really flat and dull, and the way of our peers, of your peers, exactly, was really, really interesting. It was more alive, wonderful. So, this is what we draw as a conclusion from the images and what we have heard so far. Emphasizing some syllables, in uh, one syllable in our words, and so emphasizing some words depending on their nature within a sentence helps us to communicate effectively uh, our message to our co-speaker or to our audience. This way, our language is stressed and beautifully and uh, is made more alive. Can you imagine a world with uh, such a robotic speaking? No, of course not. I couldn't imagine it as well. And so this is why today we will be dealing with this important issue when it comes to pronunciation. We will be playing with the rules of word stress and sentence stress in order to become better listeners and better speakers as we are heading as we are heading for being native speakers right so is everyone ready in his or her pole position superb so let's start now uh regarding the second part of our lesson i am ready to display for you four different words that contain different number of syllables we will split them together into syllables okay and uh, then we will be discussing on them so are we ready Let's start. 